You may have seen my shoulder workout with Mylene and us doing her back workout when she was only a few weeks out from the IFBB North American Championships, competing in the figure division. Well, I'm psyched to share that she placed top four, which is phenomenal. I knew she'd kill it. She looked amazing. So congrats to Mylene. She was in such amazing shape that even the judges told her to watch out for her hardness. <laughs> So she was so ripped that she almost basically qualified for the next division up physique. Hi, this is Mimi. Today we're gonna share a hamstring workout. Now I've been working really hard at bringing up my hams and this was one of the last leg workouts before Mylene stepped on stage. And this woman is a beast because she already did an hour of cardio, she's on low calories and low carbs and she still managed to get this in. We started off with curls, curls, and more curls. Really good for hamstrings. So we first started out with lying ham curls for four sets of 15. And a great variation for these is to point your toes because that takes out the help of your calves and you'll feel it so much more. And also take the knees off the padding and squeeze. You will feel a world of a difference in your hamstrings when you do this as opposed to the standard curling. I do suggest you mix it up. We then decided to do seated ham curls going heavier for three sets of ten. And then we did another variation of curls, kneeling one leg ham curl. And we went for three sets of ten for each side. And sometimes I like to point my toes and get the knees off the padding for these two. Then we moved on to the single leg hip thrust to work on the glute ham tie-in area. I love these because they are super hard. You're balancing weight and you're only using one leg. And I mean, just look how winded we are from doing these. Another great exercise for that glute ham tie-in area is single leg squats using the Smith machine. So in this exercise, you do it by leaning your upper back against the bar and you're kind of keeping your body at a bit of a slant as you do a single leg squat and go below parallel. And that's it. Really straightforward. We both didn't have that much energy that day. The only thing I would add is starting off with sumo deadlifts. Now it's not primarily ham focused, but it's a great way to do some extra gluten ham work. And it is lifting heavy weight and it will definitely help increase the intensity of your workout. And since I was talking about a little bit of glutes and legs in general, something else that's pretty challenging for legs and butt overall is single leg pistol squats. These aren't perfect, but it's tough. And this isn't part of the workout, but I've also been focusing on glutes, like upper glutes, lower glutes, overall glutes. And I love this exercise that focuses more on the upper glutes, that shelf butt. So Smith machine kickbacks for high reps and keeping your legs perpendicular and squeezing is key. Major burn if you do it right. And that's it. I hope you guys learned a few things and we'll try some of it out to let me know what you think. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll be showing a video of some of my random recent lifts and PRs next month. Stay tuned and subscribe and thanks for watching.